we're going to look at a new feature which just got added to Piccolo Admin, which I'm super excited about. So it's the ability to add custom forms. And to do that, all we need to do is provide an endpoint and a Bidantic model. So as you can see here, we've got myshop.com and I've created this order form. So you can imagine if you work in a design agency, you might be asked to do this sort of stuff all the time. And here we've got an order form where someone can order an item, the quantity and specify the customer. So typically with Piccolo Admin, it deals with tables and those typical CRUD operations. But the great thing about forms is you can decide what you want to do in the background. So it might be sending an email or an API call, whatever you want to do for your website. So let's have a look at the code. So we just have a couple of files here. We have app.py, which does all the magic. And then we've got the piccolo conf, which defines our Postgres engine. So to get this started, I just ran the migrations and created a user so we can log into our shop. And now in app.py, we've got a few imports. None of these will be a surprise if you've used FastAPI before. We create a FastAPI app. And then this stuff here is, is what's interesting to us today. So we have order, which is a Pydantic base model. And here we've decided, we've declared the item name, the quantity, the customer name, and we've also added a custom validator because we don't want people to make an order which has less than one item, otherwise it wouldn't be very profitable. And then we also have this order handler. So what this does is it accepts the request and an instance of that model. And within here, you can do anything that you like, but all we're doing for now is just printing out that we received an order. And then to tie it all together, you just specify a form config. So you give your form a name, you give it the Pydantic model, and then you just specify that handler. And then to add it to, to Piccolo Admin, all we do is we just have this forms argument. So it's just a list of these form configs. And then that's literally it. So um, on the command line, we're just running this using Uvicorn. And then I'll show it working now. So we click on order form. So if I want to order some Nike trainers and I want to order one and customer name is down, you can see it's processed the order. And in the command line, you can see it printed out here. I just got an order from Dan for one pair of Nike trainers. And you can just see as well how the validation works. So let's now try and order zero. And now it'll complain, it'll say, uh, the quantity you must order at least one item so that's it for today um, I'm super excited about this feature because working for a design agency this is kind of bread and butter stuff and you can build a nice UI without writing any CSS HTML JavaScript you just need to work with Pydantic models which is always uh, super nice so thank you very much